15 math tricks that will help in exams. Although, these days you don't really need to be all that good at doing math in your head, it can still be a useful skill. Today we're going to look at certain patterns and ways of thinking that can help you store, calculate, and work with numbers both in your head and on paper. While some of these tips are more general, others will deal with very specific situations or even real-life scenarios like calculating tips. Let us understand 15 math tricks that will save lot of time during exams. Number 1. Divisibility by 3. To see if a number is divisible by 3, add up the digits. If the sum is divisible by 3, so is the number. Let us consider an example. To see this number is divisible by 3, add all the numbers and check if it is divisible by 3. Since the sum of numbers is divisible by 3, so is the number. Trick 2. Switching percentages. X percentage of Y is the same as Y percentage of X. This means that if 2% of 50 is too hard to find out, you can just flip it to 50% of 2. That's a lot easier. Trick 3. Multiplying by 11. To multiply a two-digit number by 11, just add the digits together, and stick the answer between them. In this example, 42 multiply 11. Here 42 would be 4 plus 2 equals 6. Now put the 6 between the 4 and the 2 to get 462. Important thing to notice here is, don't forget to carry the 1. To give another example, 58 multiply 11 would be 5 plus 8 equals 13. You can't just put the 13 between the 5 and the 8 though. That would give 5138, which is obviously wrong. You need to carry the 1 by adding it to the 5. So it would be 638. Trick 4. Multiplying by 5. If you need to multiply a number by 5, it may be easier to half it and then multiply by 10. For example, to find 315 multiplied by 5, first step would be, 315 divide by 2 which is equal to 157.5. Now just move the decimal over to multiply by 10 and get 1575. Very simple. Trick 5. Approximating a square root. To approximate a square root, do the following. Find the next lower perfect square. Add it to your number. Now divide by the square root of the lower perfect square. And then divide again by 2. It sounds hard. Example will clear the doubts. Here's an example. Take 31. The next lowest perfect square is 25. So 31 plus 25 is 56. Now divide by the square root of 25. So 56 by 5 is 11.2. Now divide by 2 to get 5.6, which is a solution. Very easy now. Trick 6. Binomial Theorem for Squaring. Use the binomial theorem, a plus b whole square which equals 2, a, square, plus, 2, a, b, plus b square, to square numbers. For example 55 square could be 50 plus 5 whole square. This means that 50 times 50, plus, 50 times 5 times 2, plus 5 times 5 which equals 2, 2500 plus 500 plus 25, equals to 
divisibility by 8. To see if a number is divisible by 8, check the last three digits. If they are divisible by 8, then the number is divisible by 8. In this example, this number would be divisible by 8 because last three digits 0, 2, 4 is divisible by 8. Trick 8. Tipping. To figure a tip, just move the decimal one place to the left in order to get 10%. Then either Add half of what you have left to get 15%, or double it for 20%. For example, if the bill is $43.21, then $4.32 is 10%. Half of $4.32 is $2.16. So if you want 15%, just add that on. It would give you $4.32, plus $2.16, which equals $6.48. Getting 20% is even easier because, you just double it. $4.32 times 2, equals $8.64. So if you are feeling generous then, $8.64 would constitute a 20% tip. Trick 9. Divisibility by 4. To see if a number is divisible by 4, just look at the last two digits. If they are divisible by 4 then the entire number is divisible by 4. In this example, this number would be divisible by 4 because 16 is divisible by 4. Ten. Divisibility by 6. To check if a number is divisible by 6, you need to combine two divisibility rules that is 2s and 3s. If it is divisible by both 2 and 3, then it is divisible by 6. We already know how to check the number is divisible by 3. And we know even numbers are divisible by 2. In this example, this number is divisible by 2 because it is a even number. And to see if a number is divisible by 3, add up the digits. If the sum is divisible by 3, so is the number. Here sum of all numbers is divisible by 3 and hence the number is divisible by 3. Since the number satisfies divisibility rules, the number is divisible by 6. Very very easy. Eleven. Calculating Percentages To calculate the percentage of a number, just find 1% first and then multiply it. So, for example, to find 3% of 528, first find the 1% of 528 that would be 528 times 0 0.01 which equals 5.28, or just move the decimal two places left which will yield the 1% of number. Now just multiply by 3, to get 15.84, which is the solution. An easy trick to find the percentage of a number, in less than 30 seconds. Twelve. Decimal representations of the eleventh. The decimal representation of the eleventh can be done by multiplying the numerator by nine and just repeating it. For example, in one by eleven, multiply numerator with nine, which is zero nine. Repeat this number after decimal point. Consider one more example, in 2 by 11, multiply numerator, with 9, which is 18, repeat this number after decimal point. That's it, very simple trick.
13. Power multiplication, or square of a number, that ends in 5. Here, the speed would really amaze you. Try finding the square of 85, in your head. How much time did it take you? Pretty more time. Now, try this fast math trick here. Step 1. Ignore 5 in the unit's place. Step 2. Take the digit in the tens place that is 8, and multiply it with its successor that is 8 plus 1 which equals 9. The result is 72. Step 3. Simply place 25 at the end of the result that is, 7225. That's it. 7225, is the square of 85. That is your answer. Wasn't, that fast math trick? This math trick can be used anytime. You have to find square of a number ending in 5. It works with 3 digit numbers too. So the square of 135, is, first multiply 13 with its successor, that is 14 which equals 182. Now add, 25 at the end. Your answer is, 18,225. That's a great math trick. Fourteen. Multiplying with 11. How do you multiply a number with 11? Let us take an example. Say you have to multiply 35 with 11. Just follow these three steps. Step 1. Write 35 like this, where space is, for a new digit, that will be inserted in the middle. Step 2. The middle digit, is the sum of first two digits. Step 3. The number is 385. As simple, and as fast as that. But, what if the sum of first two digits, is more than 9, that is, a two digit number. Let us take an example, where sum is greater than 9. Say the number is 59 that has to multiplied with 11. Write 59 in this way where, space is for a new digit, that will be inserted in the middle. Find the middle digit like this. Since the middle digit is not actually a digit, but, a two digit number, so, add 1 to first digit and, retain 4 in the middle. The solution is 649. Fifteen. Multiplying with 5. To multiply any number, with 5, is same as multiplying it with 10, and dividing it by 2, right? We can use this rule, to speed up our multiplication with 5. So here is the trick. Say you want to multiply 236 with 5. Follow these steps. Step 1. Divide the number by 2, that is 118. Step 2. Now add 0 at the end. The answer is 1180. Was that fast math, or what? But wait, what if the answer is in decimal format? The rule still holds. Try and multiply, 1305 with 5. Step 1. Divide the number by 2, that is 652.5. Step 2. Now multiply it by 10, that is 6525. This is same as adding a zero at the end, or moving a decimal point one step to the right. This trick is especially helpful, for those who are preparing for competitive exams. It will help them do their math, a lot quicker and hence get them more interested in math. The most important thing to know, and understand is, that these tricks are really nothing but, application of basic mathematical rules.